Hello Year 10s and uh, welcome to back to school for what is probably going to be one of the weirdest school years ever or at least I hope the weirdest school year ever. I really really I literally have all of my fingers crossed that you will actually be sitting your GCSEs in 2022 because if this isn't the weirdest school year ever and next year is even weirder that I literally, I don't know what to do, I think I'm just gonna sit around crying most of the time. Anyway, we are back to school. You are like either starting your GCSEs or you started your GCSEs last year. Um, there wasn't a lot, there wasn't a lot of school that went on last year, so there was gonna be a lot of content crammed in to these two years. So I always, always start off my back to school videos with now is the perfect time to start arising and I do actually think that you guys might be the first year group to actually believe me because um if exams cancelled in 2022 and we do use centre assess grades your teachers are going to be looking at your performance over the GCSE course so looking at like your mock results your test results your classwork so it is more important for you guys than potentially any other year that you stay on top of things and you know this is kind of like planning for the worst case scenario if you just stay on top of things and you start arising now and exams cancelled well you've got kind of like the, the the proof of all of the two years worth of work to show that you are a really good student um and if they're not cancelled and we do hopefully actually get to see the exams well then you've just been writing for two years and that is literally the best situation that you could have been in so if we plan for the worst case scenario and then the best case scenario happens then you are going to be in a really really strong position so let's plan that um, exams are going to be cancelled and spend the two years between what well, 18 months really between now and um, when you be sitting your exams when you start um, looking thinking about exam timetables really really focusing on showing your teachers that you are an amazing student now I know this sounds like a lot of pressure straight up but I don't really think it is because if we start now if we start sensibly if we do little and often then you will actually be okay so one of the most important things we need to take into account when we're thinking about going back to school when we're thinking about the effects of last year when we think about all the changes that have happened is looking after you and looking after your mental health making sure that everything is um, being addressed if there are any issues if there are any parts that you're not happy with if you need someone to talk with that we do that straight away this is one of the best most important things you can do to ensure that will to help you move towards getting good grades if we are actively looking after our mental health if you're actively making sure that you are you know keeping on with your schoolwork, not letting things snowball getting some exercise talking to people realizing when actually you're not in a very good headspace and then doing something about that if we keep doing that the whole way through then these will be ingrained habits from the time we get to hopefully exams at the end of year 11 you'll be an absolute pro at this so it is really really important that you take time out from schoolwork for doing things like exercise and seeing your friends i am absolutely no way encouraging you to work 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 and do nothing else but work but since the exams are a long hopefully a long way away there are lots of things you can do now to make your life then easier for example if you miss a lesson catch up the work now i know this is kind of like a naggy teacher thing you blah, 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 blah. but you never know whether one of the gcse lessons that you miss is going to be a six mark question on the exam paper so it is really important that if you miss a lesson you catch up the work or if there's a lesson where you kind of don't really understand what's going on 
um you kind of like did the work but you didn't really know how you got the right answer or you looked somewhere else and just write down the answer then it is really important that you find out or you kind of like fill in the gaps for yourself whether it's like watching one of my videos or asking your teacher or looking in your revision guide it is really important that we start filling in those gaps because those are the sort of things that cause stress at the end if you're 11. when you look back over the whole course and realize that there are 15 lessons missing that could be a significant chunk of the paper so it is really important that we keep up those things as we go along so that you make sure you don't miss out any steps now to help you keep up with things i've like on my website there is free to download just what i've called like a little revision guide where you can just go through and tick off all of the skills and then once you've done that don't just forget about it so a perfect example in science is balancing equations it's one of the first thing that comes up in GCSE however whenever I get a new year 12 class they always need to start with balancing equations because they've managed to coast the whole way through their GCSE it's something we teach you a big lesson on at the beginning of the course and expect that you know it because we use it so often but this is a skill that needs to be done over and over and over and over again for example, if we use tying our shoelaces, you don't just spend an hour learning to tie your shoelaces and then you're expert at it. When you're a little kid, you do this loads and loads and loads and you practice and practice and practice. And now, you can probably do it with your eyes shut. But at the beginning, you couldn't. So it is the little and often, little and often, little and often practice that is really, really, really important. For example, if you have a lesson in class, make your notes in class and then maybe at the weekend go and watch one of my videos on it like with the maths video you practice the extra examples in that video and use that to back up what you've been told in class so i'm not saying do loads and loads and loads and loads of work from now onwards i'm saying if we keep on top of things if we do little and often adding to what your teachers have done then by the time we get to year 11 by the time we get to revising for exams in year 11 you'll be in a really good position and you will have been showing your teachers the whole way through that you are a grade five student, that you're a grade seven student, that you're a grade nine student, because you've been consistently doing the work. It is, you know, heartbreaking seeing all the stories that are coming out of students, you know, who are having to reset the autumn exams because they didn't get their places, because they know they could have done better in the exams. And every single year you see this, you see a student that's been basically, you know, coasting the whole way through, you know, handing in homework, but, you know, not necessarily putting a lot of effort into it. And you know that these sort of students are the ones that would really stepped up at the exam, but because they were kind of like not showing their teachers out the whole way through, they didn't necessarily get the grades that they would have done if they sat the exam. So this year, you really, really need to show your teachers what you're capable of the whole way through. Um, but it doesn't have to be loads and loads of work, doesn't have to be loads and loads of pressure. Um, so I have been really busy. I'm going to be putting out loads and loads of stuff. We are going to have GCSE videos on math, science, history, citizenship. Um, and then there were resources and courses on my website starting from £5 for a year's access. Now, I also bad about this. I know it's really, really cheesy, but YouTube videos make me absolutely no money. And if you want me to keep making cheesy videos, I need to make money somehow. So um five pounds for five ten pounds for a year's access to thousands of questions on GCSE maths which you can just do and practice and these are low stakes low pressure your teacher's never going to see the results if you get them all wrong but hopefully the second time you do them you won't get them all wrong so um I'm going to be here with you every single step of the guy way guys I'm going to be trying giving you as much advice as possible I'm going to be doing as many things for you as I possibly can and um yeah we've got this ouch this is why in some videos I have unexplained scratches